We had said we'll require the concept of vectors and scalars when we are dealing with the motion in a plane. Okay, so, so we first discuss in brief what the vectors and scalars are and how they get operated. To get, a, get an in-depth insight into what it is, you should be referring to the you should be referring to the class 12 vector classes, right? However, we represent in a plane we represent we, we represent a vector as a directed line segment. Right? So we represent it as a directed line segment with tail being at point A and, and the head being there, right? Okay, this is a vector. It has to be a straight line, a directed line segment, right? So its length has to be limited. Okay. This 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 is not like a ray which tells you that it goes to infinity. It is there to tell you the direction. Right? So so from A to B, and it is like a map whereby you say that if if say the length is one centimeter and it represents a force then that that is say equal to you can say that it is equal to five newtons maybe in other cases it might be something different so you have to set a scale as you do in case of maps right so now if if say this is one centimeter then then this seems to be this seems to be about about say 3.2 3.2 or 3 centimeter. So 3.3 centimeter is equivalent to 3.3 centimeter is equivalent to 5 into into 3.3. I'm sorry, 5 into 3.3, which is which is nothing but but 16.5 newtons, right? So this will be equivalent to 16.5 newtons in the direction that it is shown, right? That is what a vector is. Now this vector can get multiplied, okay, that can get multiplied by a scalar, okay, so, so first of all, how, how do you represent the vectors? You represent the vector as a b, this is a vector, or you can also give it a, 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 a name like that by a small letter and put an arrow sign over that, right? You do not have to put this arrow sign in the direction of the vector, so don't do that. It's always put horizontal. This is just to indicate that the quantity you're dealing with is a vector, right? So, so this, okay? So you write the tail first and the head last. This, 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 this part. This is called the tail of the vector, right? This is the tail of the vector, and and this is called the head of the vector. So you write the tail letter first followed by the head letter and put an arrow over that pointing from left to right always right there are, there's also no change there now when when you say this or, or you say this you are actually referring to a vector to the vector as a whole okay now if if i am interested in the magnitude of the vector if i am interested in the magnitude of the vector magnitude of the vector that means if I'm if I'm interested in in say the 16.5 newtons, then I'll say it I'll call it as either mod a b, okay, or mod of a or a or a b, okay. I prefer them. Okay, because there you do not have to put this arrow and also do not have to put the modular sign. So, so, so this without the just the, the the letter without any vector sign over it refers to the magnitude of the vector and magnitude is never a negative number, right? So, so it is length. Right? The direction may be opposite, that's a different thing, but the length cannot be negative, right? You cannot say, I'm applying a minus 15.6 or 16.5 newtons of force. That does not mean anything. In Vectorium it means, but magnitude wise it does not mean anything. Right? So, 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 so vector wise it, it is pretty okay to say that this is, this is vector A, then we soon see this is vector 
this is vector let, let me change the color this is vector minus a that is that is pretty okay to be saying to, to, to be to, to be said right it, it that's pretty okay to say that this is if this is a then this is minus a that is fine but you do not say that that in this case i am applying a force whose magnitude is minus 15.6 here also you are applying a, a magnitude that is 15.6 only in a different direction correct so 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 this magnitude of the vector is always positive so magnitude of the vector is always positive of a vector is always is always positive right that is always positive Fine. Now what? Now what? Now, once we are done with this, let us try to understand. Let us try to understand. How the vectors are added. Right. Now, now we see that that vectors have a magnitude and a direction. Now the basic definition of vector is kind of inculcates that. It says that that a vector is a quantity. A vector is a quantity is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction that is fine that is fine but the definition says that and which satisfies the which satisfies the which satisfies the the, the triangle law of addition, the triangle law of addition of vectors, addition of vectors, okay, that satisfies the triangle law of addition of vectors or equivalently, or equivalently the the parallelogram law of addition of vectors. Parallelogram law of addition of vectors. Of vectors, right? Correct? Now what are they? What is the triangle law of addition of vectors? And what is the parallelogram law of addition of vectors? Right? Mostly we are dealing with the vectors which are free vectors, right? So if you have if you have a vector here that is kind of this right this is vector a so what we are doing right now is nothing but the triangle law of addition of vectors right let there be a vector a here and let there be another vector b out here 
right? And then there'll be a vector b here. Then we have to shift any of them in such a manner that the tail of this, the tail of one coincides with the comes comes to the head of the another, right? So maybe maybe you you decide to to shift this. So so let us say we are trying to shift this vector. We are trying to kind of shift this vector or, or, or say this vector, right? B vector. Okay, we are trying to shift this vector, say parallel to itself. So I can pretty well shift this box anywhere, and where it goes, it is parallel. So I leave it there. Okay, so I have been able to shift it parallel. Let me let me kind of not shift it all the way. Let me first of all copy it and then and then shift because I need this vector to stay here as well. Right, so. So it is something like here. I try to copy it. I'd like to copy it. Oh no, it got undone. Okay. I'll try to copy this and then try to paste this. So I have in a sense moved this vector here. Right? I've moved it here. Okay? And and then you are supposed to join the head of the first vector the, the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector right so so it is something like that so this 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 greenish vector okay let me let me give them names a b c so this greenish vector a c this, this is not c with an arrow okay so so this is C. So we say that that the the vector a b plus b c gives us the resultant a c. Correct. It gives us the resultant a c, and 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 that is true. Right. That is fine. Right? Okay. Did we get that? Fine. Now, it is not essential that I should have shifted only this, this vector there, A vector there, uh, B vector to the head of the of the of this vector i could have as well shifted the the head of this to the tail of this okay it would have been the same thing so since i have that copied with me okay let us try to do that so so i bring this instead of going taking there i could have brought it here get it I could have brought it here and this is what I decided to do and I could have connected I could have connected 
the tail of this that is that is b the tail of <coughs> this to the head of this right to the head of this and this two could have been called the same resultant vector now you might kind of get confused how is that possible this vector is there this vector is there but if you measure their length so so what i try to do is i'll i'll try to move this part parallel to itself okay so so i'll try to move this i'll try to move this parallel to itself right so so i'll try to move this parallel to itself there is a slight trouble all the others within this box will also start moving okay everything else also starts moving so hold on so what i'll do is i'll i'll copy this fine and then i'll paste this fine let it be here i'll remove the unnecessary things from here right but what i'm trying to show you is is i i do not want all that right whatever is written i i just wanted this green vector somehow something else has also come into play but i'll i'll try to show you see see if i try to align them are they exactly the same was it parallel see it it has been brought from here right here c was there and and the tip was somewhere that was were there now if i if i align it it is exactly the same vector do we see that do we see that maybe i'll i'll erase a part of things which are unnecessary for us okay so let me let me do that first i have removed this i do not want this i just want to have that vector with me and it is still that point right it is still that point okay and let me remove this as well so this was my green vector tip to tip right now i can copy this again okay i can copy this again and shift it and see what happens this is the whole length of the vector right so it is something like that right let us try to let's try to copy it and then let's try to move it so i'm trying to move this now you see is it exactly the same in length exactly the same in length exactly coincides and wherever two vectors are of the same length are, and are parallel to themselves we say that the vectors are the same their identity has not changed they are free vectors so so what have we been able to do we have been able to somehow prove a very important thing about vectors and that is that the vector addition is commutative is it not here i added b to a here i added a to b so i can very safely say that a plus b whatever is the resultant vector is equal to b plus a right never ever try to add their magnitudes 
as we are accustomed to till now okay so don't say that if this is say say five units in length and and say this is six units in length then then the total length is equal to 11 that will not be the case that will not be the case you see that would have been the case had they been pointing in the same direction so five unit here right a vector and you would have continued straight in the same direction six units here five and six would have resulted in in the resultant vector that would have been 11 units in length this would have been 11 right but here they are forming a triangle whenever they are forming a triangle we know the laws of the sides of triangle the magnitude of the resultant is now the length of this so whenever they are in a triangle i know that the sum of two sides is always greater than the third side okay so it will never be that so the resultant the resultant that you get the mod of a plus b will always be mod of the resultant and i call this as this right this is the third side correct this is the third side this is this is your a plus b vector okay so mod of that is the length of the side so mod of a plus b is always less than mod a plus mod b this is a very very important theorem that is called triangle inequality that that can be very easily proved using the vectors so this is called triangle inequality or or, or you have learned this already right you have already learned this 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 is a very very important inequality it can be straight away be proved okay so whenever you have to find out the length of the resultant we will be dealing with with triangles without the vector notation so if you are able to find out the length of a side of a triangle you are done with it okay and never ever try to just sum up the 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 length of the sides that that never happens it happens only in one case where the direction is the same you, you keep on moving in the same direction there is only one single case where the vectors magnitudes will add up and will give you the magnitude of the resultant fine so this is what is the triangle law of addition addition right if if i had brought this here to the tip of this the vector a here you would have got the same thing so so shifting whatever shifts and wherever it shifts that actually absolutely does not matter right so if if i had this shifting my vector a shifting and it would have say sort of come to the tip of b things would not have mattered at all and you would have get got you would have got the got the same resultant right so you would have got the same resultant so had i brought this here get that had i brought this here okay and decided to to uh, I, I i should remove that had i brought that there and decided to connect these two points okay these two points from here to there you would have got this as the resultant the purple vector as the resultant do we see that and again if i do the same task of of trying to slide it and and let you see that let you see that it is almost the same you'll say they are actually almost the same so so then I have to do a lot of processing. I have to first copy it. Then I have to then. Then I have to paste it. Then I have to clean it. Isn't it? All, all that unnecessary things have to go. I don't want this. I just want the length of the resultant, right? 
just want the length of the resultant this and now again copy it again copy it and try to copy it then again again paste it somewhere and then try to shift it and try to align it so what does it mean it goes and exactly covers that length being exactly the same right the 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 direction being exactly parallel right okay so it actually does not matter which vector do you shift as long as you keep on shifting them in so that they get arranged in the head to tail fashion right so so what happens even if you have now now even if you have three such vectors so let's say let's say i have a, i have a vector a here okay and, and followed by that i have a vector b somewhere here And, and there is a vector B here and, and then you have a, a vector C somewhere here, right, a vector C somewhere here, okay. Then what do you do to add them up? You just keep on, I, I decide A to just remain there, okay. But let me tell you, you can pick anyone and put it at the head or tail of anyone else. That, that won't matter at all. Right? So what I do is, is do this. I'll kind of take this. Okay? I'll take this. I'll have to copy this. I'll, I'll copy it I'll shift it no I'll copy it I'll, I'll paste it this got pasted it comes here got arranged head to tail fine I move to the next I come to this I come to this Pick up this vector. Right. And copy this. Copy this. I'll have to paste this to create another copy. That comes here. That comes here. Okay. Now you take the first vector, you take the first vector, you come to the first vector, go to its tail, come to the head of the last vector, somehow it seems to be aligning with the, it, somehow it seems to be aligned with the with the first vector does not matter okay and this is the resultant so so if it is a if it is this is b this is c this is d then we can very safely say that that a b plus b c plus c d equals a d where a d is a vector a d is a vector if, if we call, call this the, the resultant vector, the resultant vector R, okay, then we can also say that A plus B plus C is equal to the resultant vector R. That can also be said, right? Okay.
so that's how the vectors are added and and we have seen that that the vector addition is is commutative it is commutative right it is commutative commutate even if you change keeping the sign sign here keeping the sign intact if you exchange their positions this goes there and this goes there okay and it becomes this then to the equality holds it remains the same okay it happens it happens with with the with the normal addition of the real numbers you see 3 plus 5 you exchange the places right you you get this here you get that there that remains the same so it 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 is 5 plus 3 you add add 5 to 3 or you add 3 to 5 that is a constant correct we now go to the associative property of the vectors. 